The Cosmic Puzzle If the universe is everything, then how can it be expanding? And more importantly, what is it expanding into? It's a question that seems simple at first, yet unravels into one of the most profound and disorienting puzzles in all of science. Our human minds evolved to picture objects in space moving into other spaces. We can easily imagine a balloon inflating into the air around it, or ripples in a pond moving into the still water beyond. But the expansion of the universe is not like that. It's stranger. Much stranger. The Big Bang and the First Misunderstanding. When people hear Big Bang, they often picture a giant cosmic fireball exploding into a cold, empty void. That's not quite right. The Big Bang wasn't an explosion in space, it was the sudden expansion of space itself. Before it happened, there was no outside waiting to be filled. No air, no darkness, no vacuum. Not even time. The Big Bang didn't happen somewhere in space, it happened everywhere all at once. That's why cosmologists prefer to describe it not as an explosion, but as the beginning of space and time. A universe without an edge. When we say the universe is expanding, what we really mean is that the distances between galaxies are growing over time. The galaxies aren't flying through space like shrapnel from a bomb. Instead, the very fabric of space is stretching, carrying galaxies along for the ride. So is there an edge? Somewhere you could travel to and look over into nothing? The short answer, no. As far as we can tell, the universe has no boundary. If it's finite, it might curve back on itself, the way the surface of the Earth does. You can walk in one direction forever without falling off anage. Eventually, you just come back to where you started. If it's infinite, there's even less reason to imagine an outside. Infinity doesn't need an edge. The balloon analogy and its limits. One of the most popular ways to visualize expansion is with a balloon. Imagine dots on the balloon's surface representing galaxies. As you inflate it, the dots get farther apart. No dot is at the center. Every point sees all other points receding. This works well for showing how every galaxy sees itself as the center of expansion. But here's where it misleads. The balloon's surface is 2D, expanding into a 3D space. The real universe is 3D, possibly more, and there's no higher dimensional air that it's expanding into, at least none that we can measure or describe. Nothing. And the problem of thinking about it. When scientists say there's nothing outside the universe, they don't mean empty space. Empty space is still something. It has dimensions. It can hold energy. It can bend with gravity. Nothing in this context means no location, no dimension, no time, no laws. And here's the brain-breaking part. Our minds can't really picture nothing in this absolute sense. The closest we can get is removing everything from our mental image. But even then, our imagination still leaves behind a kind of invisible container. Physics says there is no container. Einstein's mistake and the great cosmic shift. When Einstein first developed general relativity in 1915, his equations implied that the universe should be expanding or contracting. But he couldn't believe that was possible. The idea of a static universe felt more natural. To fix the math, he added a term called the cosmological constant to hold the universe in place. Then, in 1929, Edwin Hubble made a stunning discovery. Distant galaxies were all moving away from us, and the farther they were, the faster they moved. The universe was expanding after all. Einstein later called his static universe tweak his biggest blunder. From that moment, the picture of a dynamic, changing cosmos became the foundation of modern cosmology. Inflation, expansion, at warp speed. In the first fractions of a second after the Big Bang, the universe didn't just expand. It inflated at a rate so fast that distances we can barely comprehend doubled in size many times over in an instant. This rapid inflation smoothed out irregularities and made the universe remarkably uniform in all directions. This matters for our question because it means the outside problem was solved before it even started. 
Space simply wasn't there until it came into being in that moment. The observable universe. And the horizon we can't cross. Here's where things get trickier. When we talk about the universe, we often mean the observable universe. The part we can see because light has had time to reach us since the Big Bang. That's a sphere about 93 billion light years across. But beyond that? More universe. Possibly infinite universe. We can't see it, and because of the speed of light and the rate of expansion, some regions will remain forever hidden from us. In fact, as expansion accelerates, some galaxies are moving away so fast that even light from them can never catch up. It's not that they're racing through space faster than light. Rather, the space between us is stretching faster than light can cross it. Could there be a multiverse? Some cosmological models suggest our universe might be just one bubble among many in a vast cosmic multiverse. In that picture, there is something outside, other universes with their own physics. But if they're truly separate, we might never be able to interact with them or even prove they exist. It's an idea that's exciting to imagine, but so far, it's speculation. As far as evidence goes, the universe we see is the only one we know. Why expansion needs no destination. One of the hardest concepts to accept is that expansion doesn't require a place to expand into. It's not about moving into pre-existing emptiness, it's about the metric of space itself changing. Picture an infinite grid, with each intersection holding a galaxy. If the grid lines get longer, the galaxies move farther apart, without any need for new outside space to appear. That's what's happening to our cosmos. Where this leaves us. The answer to what is the universe expanding into is nothing. And that's not a dodge. It's the honest conclusion of modern physics. Outside the universe, there is no space, no time, and nowhere for the universe to grow into. Expansion is about what happens inside the universe. The stretching of distances, the changing of scales, the evolution of the cosmic fabric. It's a hard truth to picture. But maybe that's because the human brain evolved to throw spears and gather berries, not to visualize four-dimensional space-time and inflationary physics. The mind-bending takeaway. If the universe has no edge and no outside, then it is all there is. That doesn't make it any less wondrous. In fact, it makes it more so. Every galaxy, every star, every atom, every thought in your mind is part of the same expanding reality. And maybe the real question isn't, what is it expanding into? But rather, how much of it will we ever be able to see? And what secrets are locked forever beyond our cosmic horizon? When you next look at the night sky, remember, there is no beyond in the way we usually mean. The universe isn't expanding into something else. It is the something. And everything we know and everything we will ever know is contained within it.